Yo, 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 it's AOTTV here, and I'm here with my very first upload of a My League 2K rebuild here to the channel. We're kind of doing all this live on Twitch at the, by the same name, AOTTV, so make sure to check us out there on Twitch as well. And while you have a minute, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to, to us here on the YouTube channel. I'd love to grow the fan base, get some viewers, you know what I'm saying? Get some consistent viewage, other than my friends. <laughs> I appreciate y'all. All right, on that note, make sure to leave your comments, give me some feedback, it'll be much appreciated. This, like I said, this is my very first YouTube upload, some commentary attached. I'm doing it all through the iPhone, all through my phone, trying to do it on iMovie. So let me know what you think. I'm, doing, I'm gonna do my best to put this together. All right, on that note, let's jump right into it here on my league. Bam, bam. Don't judge my pistons, man. We go hard. We're going to go ahead and get this set up real quick. We never start in the off season because that, it's not right. I don't like it. Do our setup options. Get it done. Like I said, I don't know what team we're going to pick. I am a Warriors fan at heart. Bay Area, down the block. Um... So we're going to let our girlfriend pick. And so what I just did here is I just spun it until she said stop. And here we go. And she said to stop. Bam, and we are the Spurs. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing started up on and right. First things first, you know you got to pick the draft class. On Xbox, I always go with the top one. I think his name's Crow's Eye. He's got the most ac He's got more prospects per year. Like actual prospects. I'm not talking like the CPU. I'm gonna be in Spain for three years, but I'm 23 type of guys. You know, the what the ones that 2K puts out. I don't like those guys. I don't like those guys. So we're gonna go ahead and look at the team. Dejounte is probably gonna be the star of the rebuild here. Looking at it, the team. He's the youngest one, and look. in, in my experience in 2K, dude becomes a stud. Derek White's Derek's White. First thing we want to do, man, we got to get rid of LaMarcus. Dude's got to go. Too much money. He's old and all love to what he's done for the team, but he was uh, he's always been a trailblazer in my head. I don't like the offers I'm getting, so we're going to go ahead and switch his position. So for those of you who know, like, nothing about basketball, some of these guys are better at other positions, but because of the way the game is played nowadays, instead of playing a power forward, they got to play center. Not because they're bad at the position they were playing, but because they're better suited for the sport. But 2K doesn't acknowledge that. So I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of some numbers here. And as you can see, the, the offers are already a lot better. Um, I'm looking at it. Chris Stapps. Hold on. Hold on. Guys. Yeah, I just did that. I did that. Um, I can't do this. As much as I want to do this, I can't do this. It's cheating, and I want to have a real rebuild. And I feel like getting Chris Stops off the bat is kind of a cheat. <laughs> so we're going to move on. Looking at some other of these offers. Jared Culver was nice. CJ definitely caught my eye getting that score, but he doesn't play defense. And the Spurs, I've always known to be on some defense, you know. Rui, I was looking at Rui, but I've never been a, I, I don't know. I don't like him. Maybe it's, ah. the pick is definitely what I settled on. As soon as I saw the first round pick from the Bulls, I took it. Because I've tried a Bulls rebuild, and it's almost impossible. And picking up an old man like LaMarcus Aldridge is not going to be the problem solver. So then we're going to try and move Rudy here. Um, Dwight, Dwight Powell is probably what I'm going with here. Nothing really caught my eye. Um, let's go back to Dwight. Go back to Dwight. Uh, yeah, yeah. So... Take a look at the team now. We've got Dwight Powell. I'm going to make him a power forward, I think. No. Um, nah, nah, nah. Let's keep making moves. Let's get Patty Mills off the squad. I know you've been a lifelong spur, bud. But uh, you got to go. Or you just don't fit the profile. Looking through the offers, I just want a backup point guard. One-year contracts are nice for me because I want to clear up some room at the end of the year. I always want to do the Anthony Davis hunt. The Anthony Davis hunt is spot on for what I'm looking for. So now we're going to go fix the rotation. Um, here we go. I'm not too sure how I want to spread these minutes out. Greg's always been like a bench team. You know, the Spurs have always had a bench mob in my experience. 
Uh, you got Manu, sixth man of the year, multiple times. And then Danny Green lit up the playoffs one year from three-point to win them the finals that year. It, 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 you've always known Spurs bench players. Like, you can name Bellinelli. You can name, dude, I can go on. But anyways, so we got Otto Porter back in that trade for LaMarcus. And if I remember correctly, he comes with the first-year player option, which means he can choose to stay with the team next year. Now, I don't want to pay that man $28 million. No one really does, but that's why he's going to choose to opt in next year. So I'm getting rid of Otto. I got to get rid of Otto. It only makes sense, right? So here we go. We're going to take a look. Mm. Mm. I don't... Mm. Okay, I guess not. We're just going to jump into the minutes here. Again. Just to make sure I ain't screwing nothing up. <laughs> Take a little look at everything. Um, I got... I, I, I just don't like it, man. I don't, I don't know what it is. I just don't like it. It is year one, though. We got time, and we did trade away our a big piece just for a first, so it's not going to look too pretty off the rip. And another reason that I'm going with, like, a 12-man rotation is really because I, I want to lose. You know, I don't want to go star heavy on DeRozan, make the playoffs as a seven seed and lose in the first round because my, my draft pick's going to suck. So let's lose. We're going to tank. We're going to get a nice little draft pick here. You know, the, the hope is a Anthony Edwards, but we'll be realistic. We'll, we'll be nice and realistic because that's how things work. We're not going to get Anthony Edwards. We're the Spurs. All righty. Keep on going through the schedule here. Bam, bam. Drew Eubanks. Oh, yeah. Who is that guy? A 67 whatever whatever Kenny get better at basketball and we'll talk it sounds like you need more practice AI can can't really talk to you about that but he can he can tell you what he doesn't like about it anyways on moving through the schedule bad trade offers my injuries are on because unlike other youtubers I do think it's realistic for your star player to go down with injury in the playoffs and because I said it, it will happen today. Just wait for it. Just wait for it. And just wait for it. On moving through the schedule here. DeMar DeRozan has fully healed. What I tell you, it already happened to me once. I am ready to just get through this and get through the end of the first year. Because this year is really just a wash. And I want to see what I can end up doing year two, year three, as far as a real championship push. Because this team right here... It's not built to win. Look at that. DeMar's got a carry us. He's not even a 90. So he's like one of, he's like Monte Ellis was for the Warriors before Steph Curry got good. If that makes sense. Ooh, that is a great analogy. He's like Devin Booker is now. Oh my goodness. See? Good basketball analogies. We're gonna keep on moving through here, and we just about got the all-star break coming up, and we're gonna have the draft. Here in about two weeks. I'm actually really excited to see if DeMar makes the All-Star game. So he is going hard on like less than 30 minutes a game, if I remember correctly. Because we're running that 12-man rotation. So I want to see what happens, you know. If he's putting up 20 on 28 minutes, what? Are they going to show him some love? Are they going to show him some love? More than likely not, though. Look at that. DeMar for Drummond. Keep sending that offer, I'm going to tell you no. Otto broke his ribs. See, and we should uh, we should have moved Otto. Here comes the all-star game. Do I see him? Do I see him? Nope, I do not. Man, that is a rip. Well, Marcus Aldridge made the all-star game, though. Ha. <laughs> well, alrighty then. We're just going to move on through now. No all-stars. I just want to get through the end of the year. If we make the playoffs, that sucks. I mean, I, I like I said, I want to tank this year. Put this pick... With that Bulls pick. And I mean, if LaMarcus is hooping, I think the Bulls are hooping, right? You know what? Let's just see if we what we can get for DeMar right now. Because I don't like this guy. As you can see, I couldn't find anything. We're just going to get through to the end of the year. 
and Giannis wins the MVP. Shout out to my boy Rob, the big Giannis fan, the big Bucks fan. Came came a Bucks fan, I think, the year that they gained, they became big. So he'll love that shout out. <laughs> and we're going through the teams. Um, nothing really notable, and we did make the playoffs, which was a bummer. And so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six seeds. So we have six, three. And who do we got? We got the Lakers. Mm, all right, then. So the Lakers got to come face the boys. We're... Do we stay with the bench mob? Nah, we're going to take it to a nine-man rotation. We're in the playoffs. Screw it. We're going to try and get as far as we can. And let's see if we can do some upsets here. Bam, look at that. Game one, game two, two to one, three one. No, we're not blowing a three one lead. Can't blow a three one lead. Bam, 4-2. Look at that. We made the second round. Knocked off. Love, Bronny. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> eight, eight, and seven. Look at that, man. He's making 40 mil for eight, eight, and seven. I love it. I love everything about it. We're moving on to the next round. We got Dallas, and that's Luka, the big boy, Luka Doncic. If those of you who play 2K know he wins every MVP like every other week. Every other league, every other year, it's Luka Doncic as the MVP. He becomes an all-star phenom. So we're just going to move on through here, see what happens. Um, getting players back from injuries and such. I just want to get through the playoffs. Keep it going. Bam, we're 2-2-3-2. Two, two, two. Wow, we are upsetting people. And how are we doing this? Wow, Dallas forces a game seven. So here we go on Dallas's home court, and they're up big. They're up big, and there we go. We fell down to the Dallas Mavericks in seven, but we shouldn't have even been there, man. We had no plans of getting that far, and the Bucks win the friggin' finals. Fly right through this offseason right here. Um, Hall of Fame, good stuff. Gonna get in the lottery. I don't have that pick The since the Bulls keep it for the lottery. It was lottery protected, so I'm gonna get it next year. And Pop lives here, man. That, that's my first order of business. He own, he basically owns the San Antonio Spurs, as far as I'm concerned. He's going to stay here. He's stuck, and that man's a spur for life. <laughs> we need a new, uh, well, we got to have backup plans just in case something doesn't work out here. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at some good guys. Tim, Tim, come back at the assistant coach, because if you develop well, you can be the next head coach. You know, maybe. Nah, nah. Elijah took the job from you, Tim. You better go find somewhere else to play. We got championship ball year two. Coming into this draft, I'm just going to sim to my pick. I mean, I don't really have a reason to stick around. Nah. Yeah, let's see it. LaMelo goes first. Grant Riller goes second. Who is Grant Riller? Carl of Char College of Charleston. I'm going to Google that. My man's plays Division I ball in the CAA division, so he must be hooping on everyone's life. Look at this place. Never seen them in March Madness, but here he goes as the second pick in the draft. Stranger <laughs> things have happened, I guess. Isaac Kokoro goes three, and James Wiseman goes... Uh, go, now, nah, RJ and James, Theo to the Knicks. They get another point guard. And the Bulls trade their pick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If they traded me their pick, and then they traded, they can't trade their pick this year. There's like a rule for that, right? But sure enough, the Warriors trade for it, and they get themselves a center. So they have another pick coming up here in a second. And Anthony Edwards fell this far. See, I should have traded up. I should have traded up for Anthony Edwards. And I was literally saying that on Twitch as I recorded this stream, that I should have traded up. So we're on the clock, and I think Isaiah Stewart's going to be the pick here. 6'9", 245 out of Washington. Um, I can move him to power forward, worst case scenario. I'm just going to go ahead and sim it to the end. Grant Riller, man. Hooping on guys. Hooping on the guys, man. Look at him. He's going to be a god. Freaking OB fell to 13. I'd have traded that for OB, too. And here we go. We're going to go ahead and jump into this. Cole Anthony in the second round. That's disrespect. Isaiah Stewart's going to be a 75. And it looks like DeMar accepted his uh, uh, and Otto accepted his. Yeah, so I'm trading Otto. 
I want to free up some money. And Kevin Porter Jr., I literally accepted that so fast, I couldn't see it on the stream. So now we're going to move to Mar. And Brandon Clark catches my eye. But Mitchell Robinson, that's got to be the deal, I'm thinking. Because to get us a solid center, even though I just drafted one, I've, I've always known Mitch to be a killer center in this game. He develops nice. He ends up like Rudy Gobert. He's got good defense, good rebuilding, all that good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and make that move. And Dwight Powell is now going to be a power forward because we got ourselves our center of the future. with, And we still got Polo, like... We got front court death, man. Like, holla at me in the streets. Looking at it, though, I do have, like, way too many front court players. And, like, someone's going to end up having to go. They're going to have to leave. Um, let's just get through to free agency, boys. How about that? So all the cap holds are cleared. And we're coming in here with friggin' scratch, man. We're going to try to re-sign Anthony Davis. Or not re-sign, but we're going to try to get Anthony Davis. We're going to offer him all the money. We're going to offer him a player option. All that. And we're in the hunt. You know what I mean? He's thinking about us. He, If this was real life, we took the big meeting next to the Lakers. You know what I'm saying? Cole Anthony is a free agent. He was just a second round pick. We're going to throw him a four-year rookie deal. And it's going to look nice. It's going to look like a first-round deal. I'm going to bring him in. So Anthony Davis didn't sign with us. That sucks. And here's our team going into the progression. Everybody went up a little bit. DeJounte really took a step up. He's an 85 now. Uh, Mitchell is the best player on the team. And we're looking to compete this year. We got a nice little starting lineup. And we basically replaced DeMar. Or not tomorrow. We replaced uh, LaMarcus Aldridge. Year two, about midway through the season, we were jumping through. And th at this point, we were getting a whole lot of trade offers for the team. People were making crazy offers. But this is this one alters the course of the whole franchise once it pops up. And as we sim through, yeah, we're winning games. DeJounte is the star of the team. But, uh, yeah. I think he's about to go move to Utah. I can reunite the Bogdanoviches. Oh, no way, bro. The Europeans on the Spurs as brothers, it sells itself. As in, and I upgrade. And I upgrade. I have, like, no attachment to Alfred Payton. Yeah, I'll have no point guard, but those guys are that. A bench. I have Cole Anthony, man. What? Give me Donovan Mitchell. Bam. Best player on the team. Sorry, Derek, but you're a bench man now. Bench Bob. Remember, we, we talked about the Spurs bench Bob. Now we got Bogdanoviches. We've got the, 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 oh, we got so much on this team, bro. I'm so happy. See, this is what the rebuilds are about. You get a crazy offer like that, it turns the whole thing on its head. And now instead of building around DeJounte Murray, we've got Spida Mitchell, bro. Oh, I'm so hyped. He's not catching coronavirus here, boy. <laughs> and we have the Bulls first round pick this year. That's going to be great, man. There's so many good things to look forward to right now. And they picked up Draymond Green last year. Looking at the rotation, we did pick up Trey Burke to be the backup point guard. Cole Anthony's starting now. The young man. What a life, what a way his career turned out. Yeah, I got picked at the first pick of the second round. I got cut. The Spurs picked me up. Now I'm starting next to Spider. Do we have an all-star? I don't think so. Maybe it's because of the trade. But that boy definitely should have had an all-star the way he was playing in Utah. It's good. It's good. I'm not going to say nothing. Just move on through the season here, man. We're definitely making moves in this playoffs this year. I just want to get to it. 60 and 22 has got to be the first seed. John Morant, most improved, and that man was hooping. Pfft, 31 points. 24 to 31. All righty then, bud. First team, second team, any of that? Um, No, we don't get no nice stuff. DeJounte went on to become second team player of the year. Obi wins rookie. Mm, 13th pick. Could have had him. Looking at the Roto, I'm thinking about it. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and run a 
10 man rotation here with two or it should have every position two players deep foul trouble should be an issue let's just go ahead and run through this real quick minnesota don't be a problem man Jakob pole he's out bogdan's out great the playoff the bench is seeing injuries already <sighs> here we go friggin play around with the minutes and let's try this again now it's 3-2 and 4-2 there we go we moved on who'd have thought playing the warriors in the second round and they have developed nicely but we're still gonna beat them right right 2-0 3-0 and 3-1 we're not blowing that let's go 4-1 we've got the nuggets on tap the super nugs let's play around with the minutes again with Jakob's healthy bogdan's healthy we got the brothers back so let's just jump into it sim sim come on and we're up big the first game let's see 144 jeez donovan mitchell man have a game is that how it's gonna stick around no they came back game two hooping around with them game three we won cole anthony is actually having a good playoff series man good for him the Nuggets take game two, it's two or game four, it's two two now. We're split a piece. Game five, I, everybody says that's the most important game in a split like that. Because if you can take game five and you go up three two, you're almost guaranteed. And sure enough, I probably should have jumped in there. Maybe I could have played that one, but nah, it's fine. Year two, we get a lot of time, man. We get a lot of time. These guys are young; they'll develop nice. Popovich has a plan. Here we go. And bro, we were just up. We were just, oh my God. All right, let's just get, take me the next year. Take me the next year. Jason Tatum wins a finals MVP. Bunch of guys who can't hoop no more. They said I'm old, don't feel like running. They hung it up. You guys saw the drill last year. We deny all the freaking propositions and jump right into it. So where is our pick? We should have been like a top five and we fell all the way to seven. That's. Mm, that's fitting. Let's get ourselves a good scout here and just go straight to the draft. And looking at trade offers. Let, let's see. Can we trade up possibly? No. See, this is the rule I was talking about. You can't trade in consecutive years. But whatever, the Bulls did it. And Cade goes. Jalen Green goes. Terrence Clark. These guys and we are on the clock. So I'm looking at it. Jaden looks good, man, but he's got, they're hating on his ankle. If I remember correctly. Yeah, they're hating on him. But and injuries have been a problem for this team, man. But he's the best player on the team. And he's got the most badges too like he's and he's got the best comparison i can get another damar like bro i gotta do it i gotta do it bam drafted him so here's our, our here's our coop we got austin flower we had three picks we got 370s plus so the bench mob keeps getting reinvigorated we're gonna take all those player options they accept those so we have a weird thing coming into the year because we have a lot of money we didn't get AD, and all our star players are on small deals. So we might be able to do something big this year in free agency. And we'll take a look and see what we do as far as that. Ooh. Now, I got to I gotta re-sign Donovan. But... I definitely want to pick up someone else with some of this leftover money. Like, if I play this right, I can sign the free agent and then re-sign Donovan and just put me over cap. And then I can also re-sign those other guys that I have the bird rights to, like Ch Chidobi or whatever his name is. Um, and then Donovan does that stupid thing where instead of taking the long deal... He picks up the one-year option because he wants to be a free agent next year, unrestricted. I don't know why 2K does that. If he want, didn't accept the offer, he didn't accept the offer, but whatever. Um, we're kinda, I'm kind of stuck here. We're going to see what we can do, but maybe we can make some trades, free some room up. 
We're trading Keldon because we we have too many small forwards. We just drafted that guy behind him, and he wants to develop. So we're going to get two first-rounders for this guy. And then we're going to keep back into free agency. So if I'm looking, yeah, now we can move Lonnie to small forward. And maybe he'll start at small forward. Maybe, you know, he's developed with us for a few years, and him and Kevin can battle it out. And we'll see who comes out first with that job. Cole starting, Donovan starting. It'll be a nice young core. But uh, we got these guys to look at here. Montrez, I don't, I don't like Montrez. I'll tell you who I do like. I like Blonde, though. I like what? Unrestricted? Ooh, put the offer in right now. Put the offer in right now. To, well, yep, see, we just had to free up a little bit more money. Now we can make Lonzo a big offer. Something he'll, ni- he'll enjoy nice and right. And Lonzo Ball can be the playmaking point guard of the... Oh, yes, there we go. Lonzo Ball is the San Antonio Spurs point guard. I'm not bringing in his dad. I'm sorry you can't play with your brother or your other brother. But you can come play with San Antonio and you can come start. And you can play with Donovan Mitchell. Nice little bit of progression here in development. Cole Anthony went up two, and he got his job took, but, it, you know, he gets it. He gets it. You know, we bring in good players, and they help us out, and that's how that works. Jalen's, oh, wow, the fifth friggin' pick of the draft. Dislocates his right patella. It is a new injury, and he's out for the season. Is that out for the whole NBA season? Or just the summer league season. I'm really hoping it's not the whole NBA season. Year three. The rotation is set. We do have a nice balanced rotation here. A little bit more some shooting guard play. Derek White. You know, this is six man's getting his burn. Jaden Springer. Want to take a look at his durability, man. I don't know how bad his durability is. And oh my god, that was a 37 on the board. All-star break. Do we have an all-star? You know, I was literally told one time that nothing good ever happens in San Antonio. No offense to you guys, but this is proof right here. How do you not get an all-star game at that production? Uh, Dude, come on. That's a frigging joke. Whatever. Whatever, bro. Mm. We're just going to take it to the end of the year. Let's get it there. Again, year three, no all-stars. Just same at the end of the year. Giannis wins another MVP, because why not, you know? Jalen Green, sixth man of the year. That looked pretty good. Going through the all-NBA teams, like I said, San Antonio, nothing good happens. Let's just check the stats out. Rookies, man. Check out our player stats. Lonzo averaged 10 assists a game. Donovan averaged 27 points a game on 52%, and he didn't even get all all NBA team. Joke. We're going to look at the freaking rotation, reset it. Um, Give Lonzo a bunch of minutes, give Donovan a bunch of minutes. We'll figure the rest out. See what happens here. Let's go. Year three playoffs, and we're down 0-2. To, oh, hold on. I literally said something stupid about losing my star player to an injury in the playoffs, and sure enough, here it is. Donovan's out, 27 points per game out, and now we got to figure it out. How are we going to do this? <clears throat> well, after retooling the rotation, we got the rookie playing at starting, and we lost game four. We're down 3-1. There's no way we come back here. What? Okay, there we go. That'll be 3-2. If we can pull this off, man. If we can pull this off, Popovich is the god. 3-3, game seven, San Antonio. Let's go, baby! Five minutes left. I'm jumping in. I'm jumping in. I'm trash at this game, but maybe I can hit the turnaround. Maybe I can do the miraculous turnaround. Here we go. Jumping in the game. Five minutes. Inbound that thing. The Mr. Springer. He's tired, dude. Oh, my God. Um, Who do I even try to score with? Uh, Oh, no. Uh, 
I guess we'll just try to... Uh, Lonzo can score for us. I'm really not good at this game. Yeah, I skipped some horrible gameplay, and I'm probably going to go ahead and send to the end here because this is out of my reach, and there's no possible way out of here. And look at that. He just yammed on my head. Yep, I think that's the final straw. I'm probably out of 5,000. Look at that. Destroyed me. They're not even going to give him the replay. Come on, man. Get him, get him, get him. Up, 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 up. Ah, uh, dang. Poor guys. Yep, we're out of there. And the Celtics win another one. Two years in a row. Zebo retires. Dwight retires. Iggy retires. Those guys. No Iggy Hall of Fame. I wonder if that's going to happen in real life. Decline all that good stuff. Another year of the draft lottery. We don't have nothing to look forward to. Um, whatever. Get a CFO. Come on, someone got to handle the money. Do, do, do. So this year we went with the automated draft class just because I don't really know what's out there after this year. And I want to trade up. We have two picks this year. I'm going to trade... Dwight Powell in the 16th pick and I want to see what I can get up to and it looks like the Pelicans will send me a 5 and Josh Hart but I don't necessarily need Hart and I don't want to send back a pick in, a, in the future so let's try taking that off, take Josh Hart off see what they say, oh it's good for sure, okay so now I'm on the clock, at 5 here, oh wow look at that, I'm on the clock and Look at the prospects. Wow, Ron Strickland. Who is this guy? Why did he fall? They got some talent up here. Not too much. And looking at the board, I, I might take Ernest Sampson. Yeah, Ernest is looking like a guy, and that's the one I took. Ernest Sampson, 6'8", Washington State. I'm taking these Washington, Washington State guys. Universe, U Dubs, man, it's crazy. These Washington kids. I'm gonna go ahead and put the offers on Mitchell and Donovan Mitchell, just because I gotta bring them back to the team. Same with Lonnie Walker. Like, there's no way I'm letting these cats walk. They all started at one point last year. I do need to make another trade because um, I don't think we have a starting power forward really at this point because Christian Wood is not that guy. So we're going to go ahead and move him and Ramsey, a young cat that I picked up the uh, the year we missed out on Anthony Davis, and see what we can pick up. And PJ definitely looks like the get. He's young. I've seen him develop. He's probably a smaller. Yeah, six seven. He's definitely smaller, and he probably fits the mold more like a PJ Tucker to shoot some threes. And I definitely could use that at the power four spot. So we're going to go there, I think. Just want to take one more look through these offers, see if I'm not adult and miss something. And yeah, we took PJ. So he's going to be our starting four heading into next year, into the next video in year four, year five, etc., etc. And that should just about do it. We're going to go through free agency real quick, but we're at 12 players. We've just about spent our money. I think we're good. Gonna go ahead and take a look at player progression before we sign off here on our very first rebuild with the Spurs. We're gonna go ahead and call it the Spurs rebuild from now on. Lonzo's an 88, Donovan's an 89, uh, Mitchell Robinson's an 87. We still got like three or four guys from the original team when we took it over and that should just about do it for us. Thanks to everybody for sticking around through this nice 30 or so minute video. I know it was a long one. But I hope to do rebuilds like this a lot regularly coming up. Um, I don't have too much free time to knock them out in, as I work like 11 hours a day at my job. But as you can see, I'm going to do my best to knock it out, get the editing done. And I want to do more uploads for you guys. So like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Stupid. I'm not going to let you get the chance.